Hi everyone, this is an introduction to our lesson on slope field. And we're going to take this from a very graphical point of view. If you want to grab your graphing calculator and follow along, please do feel free. On your graphing calculator, if you would graph the function y equals x squared minus x, that we'll use as our example. One other thing I'd like for you to do is to go under format, which is second zoom, and please set up the third line as grid dot. This is going to uh, cause dots to appear on your graph, which are really markers. If you think of the old fashioned graph paper, you know, that had the lines on it. This is sort of the graphing calculator version of it. If you do not have the TI-84+, plus, as I have here, if you have the TI-83, for instance, or the regular TI-84, you should have a similar line that says grid off, grid on. You would want to turn your grid on. And once you have that done, you can just back out of it. And we're going to go ahead and zoom six in order to graph the function. It's just a regular parabola, but you can see now these markers that have a shown up to serve as really just place marks, so to speak, on our graph. And for our example, we're going to focus on the point two comma two, which sits right over here on the graph in the first quadrant. If you want to go ahead and move your spider to that point, the easiest way to do it is to do second trace value and just type in two for your X and enter and your spider will automatically go to that point on the curve. Now slope fields is a picture, if you will, of the slope of a given curve at every single point in the plane. If I were to inquire as to what the slope at this particular point would be, there's a few different ways I can do that. I know I could find the derivative of this function. The function is x squared minus x. The derivative, therefore, is simply 2x minus 1. I know I can substitute 2 in there and get the derivative to be 3. Of course, your calculator has built-in functions that will do that for us that we've learned. The dy dx function. And there it is confirming that the derivative at the point 2 comma 2 is indeed 3 as we thought. Suppose I were to do this at every single point on the curve at 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and negatives and fractions, literally every single point. And I could come up with a slope at all of those x values. If I were to then graph those slopes, that's what a slope field is. So let's take a look at what the slope field of this particular function would look like. You have a program that is in your graphing calculator called slope fields that will do that for you. Let's go back under y equals and I'm going to erase the given curve and what I'm going to type in is what I know the derivative to be 2x minus 1. If you then go back to your quit screen and pull up the program slope field. Remember all your programs are alphabetized in your list and hit enter on it and enter again. It's going to automatically pop back to your graph and you'll notice it's drawing all these really weird little lines on your graph. This is what a slope field looks like. It's a representation of all the slopes at all the points in the plane for any given function. In particular, it is the representation of the general solutions of a differential equation. Now remember what we had graphed, 2x minus 1. And you've learned in the last many lessons how to find the original function from that derivative by taking the antiderivative. If you were to do the antiderivative of 2x minus 1, you would get x squared minus x plus c. What this slope field is is a representation of all the different possibilities as you vary what the plus c is. Now take a look at what, something for me. Over where x equals 2, take a look just to the right of it. Notice how all these little, we call them slope cuts. That's what we call these little teeny tiny lines. Notice how all of them just here to the right of x equals 2, 
They all look parallel to each other. And it kind of looks like maybe they do have a slope of a positive 3. And notice how they're all the same as each other. All along there where x equals 2. If you go a little past there to x equals, let's try maybe x equals 4 over here. If you substitute 4 into that derivative, we get 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 1, which is 7. And notice how all these slope cuts definitely are steeper. And I guess they could have a slope of positive 7. Over here, if we go to negative 1, for instance, if we substitute negative 1 into our derivative, 2x minus 1, we get negative 1. And notice how here along every place where x equals negative 1, these slopes now have a negative tendency to them, and it looks like it could be a negative 1 slope. So that's what you're looking at with a slope field, is a graphical representation of the general solutions to a differential equation. So perhaps keep this example in mind as we now begin our lesson. And you'll actually learn how to draw a slope field yourself by hand, and then also how to sketch through a slope field what a particular solution might look like. So keep in mind as we start talking about that, that what this slope field represents is the solution to that differential equation, 2x minus 1, which you know from your antiderivative work, would be x squared minus x plus c. This is a representation of all the different slopes at all the points in the plane as you change up what that plus c value is.